Hey guys, Box here and welcome back for another Taiwanese rap reaction. Today we are going to look at old mate Baza Chen. So today we're going to look at a rapper called Barry Chen. And just to let you guys know that in Australia, Barry automatically becomes Baza. Hey guys, it's Baza here. So if I see Barry, I automatically think Baza or Baz because in Australia, everyone who's called Barry is pretty much called Baza. They get given the nickname Baza and it just stays with them for their whole life. So today's song is called Champion and we're gonna just dive straight into it. Dive straight into it, straight into it, straight into it. Let's have a look. Barry Chen, Champion. Forever Hollis. Hey, sex! Nothing to fuck with. Hey! It's almost like a little bit of, I can hear a little bit of like Meek Mill in there and it's it's kind of that, we went through that phase, it's like T.I., Meek, Rick Ross and a lot of trap music and this kind of feels like that kind of sound. It's, it's the only thing I can really compare it to, it's like that's why I keep talking about like American rappers and everything is because this is just my experience and I'm trying to layer the songs I hear and trying to hear like the influences of where they're coming from with their sound. Fox with this dude, man. Like, his shit's tight. This is my type of stuff, man. Like, I, I like this type of song and just the way he's throwing it together. It's it's very good. His delivery is very crisp. And yeah, like I said, it has a very good cadence to his flow, I think. <laughs> Like I could literally hear Drake or someone coming in at some point and, you know, featuring in amongst all that, you know, so like I can hear, yeah, that kind of, you know, Meek Mill, Drake, all these sort of dudes could rock this, this style and this type of beat. So this is, this is why I'm here. I, I really like this one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely down with that one. I'd 
those sorts of beats, I really love them. I get down with the hard beats and I don't know that letting your inner demon out almost and just putting down some like really hard raps and flows over something tough. When you're someone who likes to do that sort of stuff and you hear your own creation back the first time and you make something like that, like he would have been so stoked when he when he put that together and heard that back for the first time. He wouldn't have been able to stop listening to it. That's a good track. I like that one. I want to hear some more of what he's got. How does it rank up against what I've heard before? I still think the doggy one from the last video would probably be still the best one. And I think this one would go... Whoa. It's kind of right on par with the Soft Leaper epic. And I'm going to say, I think that it's probably third. Even though I said I've, like, I really like this one. Um, I really like the other ones as well. I'm going to say it's just behind Soft Leaper, Epic, then this one, Champion, Barry Chen, then K. Hao, Vasa. So I'm thinking this one just because of... I think there was just more, just from listening to it, there's more of a story in the other two songs. I need some people to explain more about what's being talked about in this song. Is this a song where he's just pumping himself up? Like all rappers do that in certain songs, but is this just one of those tracks? That's just one of the unique things about rap music is that a lot of the content of songs that people will release is just talking about how much better a rapper than they are than everyone else. That's just the culture of the music. Anyway, guys, that was Barry Chen, Champion, Old Mate Bazza. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss any future reaction videos. Thanks for watching guys, keep the comments coming, keep the suggestions coming, and I'll see you in the next video.